With over 15 years of experience in the fitness world, I've found these three habits to help keep myself and my clients shredded. The number one habit is to track your food intake. Despite there being countless diets that promise weight loss results, the only thing I've found for our JRD clients and the only thing peer-reviewed research has found to guarantee you stay shredded is eating the right amount of food for your body. Take for example this research study right here where they looked to see if you lower your carbs, is that really gonna help you lose weight? And what they found was it wasn't the lowered carbs, it was the entire lowering of your caloric intake. So whether you go low fat or low carbs, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that you're going low enough calorie to be in a slight deficit to lose weight. Moral of the story, stop worrying about the perfect diet or cutting out carbs or anything like that, just make sure you get your caloric deficit on point and you'll be good to go. One thing I see time and time again with our JRD clients is that they think they're eating super healthy because they're eating nutrient dense foods. They're like, I'm eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and they list all the healthy foods for me. But despite eating healthy foods, which means that they're nutrient dense, they are overeating. And so even if you're eating really nutrient dense foods, if you're overeating them, you're still going to put on weight or you're not gonna be able to lose weight. The only way to guarantee that you don't overeat healthy foods or not healthy foods is by tracking your calories. So everything that you eat, you track it. The cool thing I've found about tracking your food intake is that the awareness alone leads to better decision making when it comes to what you eat. Because before you eat it, you actually have to like come into full conscious awareness of I'm about to eat this piece of cake and I'm gonna type it into my fitness pal. I'm gonna fully acknowledge that I'm eating something that's maybe not the best for me or that's super high in calories. And so that act alone will help you bring more awareness which helps you make better decisions. And then in addition, it's the only scientifically backed way to guarantee you're actually gonna lose weight. If you take any habit from this video, please take this habit of tracking your food. We like to use a free app called MyFitnessPal. They are not our sponsor. They're just the most convenient app we've found to track our food. The number two habit that I found to be extremely beneficial for helping keeping you or getting you shredded is ordering your groceries online once a week. This is a bit of a hack I've discovered. If I go to the grocery store, temptation creeps in and I might end up buying snacks that I don't actually need in the house. Versus when I order my groceries online, I can save my favorite healthy foods and just order the same thing over and over again every week without thinking about it. You guys might be seeing a theme here that the best way to get shredded is by paying the most attention to your food intake. So I advise you to create the habit of ordering groceries one or two times a week, literally make it a calendar event for yourself where you can just have the same grocery list and on recurring every week, one or two times a week, or those same healthy groceries. That way you don't fall into the trap of being like, ooh, that looks good just because you're hungry in the moment and getting snacks that you might overeat later on. Now, if you can't order your groceries online for whatever reason, whether it's you don't have it available in your city or country, Tree or you don't want to waste a bunch of paper bags, whatever it is for you, you can also just give yourself a calendar event one or two times a week where you personally refer back to the same recurring grocery list that you stick with, you stay strict with that grocery list, and you bring that in and you go do your grocery shopping. The most important thing I'm trying to get across here is that you need to build that habit of grocery shopping so you don't end up with no healthy food in your house and then you go, oh, okay, whatever, I'll just order Uber Eats or I'll just go pick something up that may not be the healthiest option. For anyone out there looking for super healthy meal ideas, we have this thing called the two bowl meal system we created years ago that's available in our JRD nutrition system. So if you want a grocery list and you want access to a bunch of really healthy, delicious recipes, check that out. We'll link it up in the description below for you. The third habit that's extremely important for making sure that you get your workouts in is you actually schedule them into your calendar. Now, this is something I definitely have to do in my life. Now that I'm a father, I've got to run these businesses, I'm a husband, I have a lot of responsibilities. And so oftentimes, if I don't schedule my workout, it just doesn't get done. I get to like 7.30 at night, put my daughter to bed, I'm like, oh, I haven't had any time for my workout. So the way I circumvent this is I actually just create space on my calendar for my workouts. And so every Sunday night, I open up my calendar app and I schedule all the workouts I wanna do for the next seven days. That way I'm not gonna have another meeting, I'm not gonna have another responsibility come and push my work out of the way because it owns that sacred space in my calendar. And I'm someone who is very strict to his calendar because I'm very busy. Um, if you don't use the calendar so much, I recommend trying it out because at least it will have a reminder there for you to do the workout so you can build that habit. A roadblock I see some people come to when they try to start working out consistently is the belief that they do not have enough time to work out. So I'm giving you a little caveat here. 
many people try to do these physical habits I'm talking about, but then they run into this invisible force that doesn't allow them to actually follow through. And a lot of times that has to do with our limiting beliefs. So if you believe you don't have enough time to work out, you will never make time. Even if it's on your calendar, you'll be like, no, I'm too busy with work. I'm too busy with family. And you'll just delete it from your calendar. So I recommend actually auditing your belief system, making sure that you believe you have more than enough time to work out. Even if rationally you're like, but I don't have enough time. When you believe it to be true, you will make it true, all right? One final pro tip I found to be especially helpful in my life is scheduling buffers on either side of my workout. So if you believe you only need 45 minutes to work out, maybe give yourself an hour with an extra seven and a half minutes on each side before and after. So you have time to get ready or you have time to wind down or transportation. However much time you need as a buffer before and after the workout, put it in there. Otherwise, you're gonna feel super rushed. And as I always like to say, high vibes, never in a rush. Now, these are the three habits I've seen to help keep myself and the JRD clients shredded all year round. I wanna hear from you though. What habits have been most impactful in your life? Let us know in the comments section below so we can all learn from each other's experiences. And if you guys want some accountability, some coaching, some workouts, check out JRD TV. I'll link it up in the description below for you. We have a free trial in there. So if you have any questions about things I've talked about in this video, you can go in there and get coached up by me in the forum. I'm actually in there answering questions. So check it out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. As always, do the thing.